evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk. In Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That's an impactful right hand by Briggs. Took a shot, now he gives a left. How effective of a tool can the right hook be for a southpaw when he faces an orthodox fighter? Wow, what a dangerous punch for a southpaw. And the danger zone is really there for the orthodox fighter because he's not used to seeing that punch come from that angle. Now hugging on the inside. Halfway through this round, nice defense, good block by Clubber. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. And now he's targeting upstairs. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Targeting a left hand down low. And he returns on that exchange. Good strong jab by Briggs. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that so far so good. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Briggs. He missed with that headshot. And he's holding. A stinging uppercut by the cannon. Halfway through round number two. Scores up top with a left. The cannon's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Briggs. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Not able to land the uppercut. Solid left hand to the head. Solid right by Briggs. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Scored well up top. Flipping him with that uppercut. Big shot by the cannon. Good 
job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. Scores with the uppercut. To the head he goes with a left hand. Solid right by Briggs. Protecting his head well with his guard. The cannon stunned and he is hurt. Wow! Briggs is down and hurt. to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you teach a guy if you're in this situation this is what you do you grab on you move your head you survive wow is he defensively sound Competitive throughout. Who got it? To find out, we send it up to the ring. Lovers, your winner. Two judges overcoming the one who saw it a draw. Just not much to separate these two all night long.